All right, so no one really asked these questions. I just like answering them. I like to answer these questions because back in the day, I've always had these types of questions in the back of my mind, but I never really had anyone to ask and I didn't even know if they had the answer to it. I just had these questions lingering in the back of my mind and, and it was something that I wanted answered. So in this video, I want to answer the question, is it too late to start to think about environmental engineering? Or is it too late to start in general? And so to answer that question, it all depends on your situation. I know you might not like that answer, but it depends. So as of right now, May 9th, 2020, times are crazy. Right now you can see pretty much a lot of the world population, at least here in America, in the United States, 30 million people are laid off. So I hope you guys aren't in that percentage, but a majority of people are. So right now it's just a pretty much difficult and crazy situation to think about. Fortunately for me, I am still relatively young, so I can still make that switch. But that's just for my case, that's just for my scenario. So I'm going to give you some other few examples. Yes, it is too late for you to start environmental engineering if you fall under these criteria. But before I begin, these are just my opinions though. So this is just me in a relatively new field. I've only been working in my job for like one year. So take that with a grain of salt. Yes, it is too late to start in this field if you have like over 15 years of experience in some other field. So if you're just wanting to switch it, but you've had such a strong foundation in a different field, you might want to reconsider. I'm not saying you should like not try to learn. I'm just saying that if you want to start a new career path, especially if it was like, say, a high paying job to a lower paying environmental engineering job. It wouldn't make sense financially, so do reconsider that. But again, it all depends on how you feel about it. If it truly makes you happy, then go for it. But it's just my opinion. If you're way too deep into a field or to a career that you've been working on for more than like 20 years or like a large chunk of your life, it probably wouldn't make sense just to make a switch. So like in a way, you're switching horses in the middle of a river. It just doesn't make sense. You've already started the race. You might as well just finish that marathon. Next, it is too late if you have other obligations. So for example, if you're the sole provider of a family and you all of a sudden want to go to environmental engineering, but let's say you're in a different field, you have to get all these credentials, you have to get all these classes in. It just would be very hard for your family to take that hit financially or time-wise. So if you're providing for a family and maybe your current job is the only thing that's keeping them afloat, you stopping that current job, going back to school, getting all your credentials, even if it takes maybe one or two years, that might not be feasible because of what you're doing. I know it's pretty sad because that's your dream goal, but realistically, that could be very difficult to transition to. So again, this is just my opinion. You could do whatever you want, but I don't think that'd be a smart move. Next, yes, it is too late to start environmental engineering if, and I'm sorry to say this, if you're too old to go back to school. So here in America, if you want to become like an environmental engineer, they probably look for like a college degree or some sort of certification or experience. So if you have no experience at all, no college degree, no background at all in environmental engineering, and you came from like a history major or some business major, and you have to go back to school to get your certification and your experience. So I'm sorry to say this again, but you're just too old to start, and it just doesn't make sense to stop in the middle of a marathon when you worked so long on this one particular path that it just doesn't make sense to switch halfway. So. Again, I'm sorry to say this, but realize the time horizon that you need to take to fulfill these prerequisites just to achieve your goals. And lastly, it is too late, again, in my opinion, if you are way into debt that you cannot pay for the school, or pay for experience, or again, because you have more obligations to take care of your family, you cannot feasibly take the time off and the finances to pursue your passion. So again, take this with a grain of salt. This is just my opinion. You can do whatever you want with your life, but I don't think it makes sense if you have so much other things, so much other burdens or so much other obligations to do that you switch on over to pursue environmental engineering. Sorry, it kills your passion, kills your joy, but because of this, you might just have to suck it up and just deal with what you have currently in the situation. So I felt like I ended it on a pretty bad note there saying all these negative things, saying like it's too late, it's too late, but I want to end it positively. So next I'm going to go over almost scenarios, what criteria is, is it not too late to become an environmental engineer? So the first one is that it's not too late to switch on over to environmental engineering if you've had some previous background to it. So mostly if you had like a STEM background, but it's not exactly environmental engineering or anything environmental related, it's still much easier to transition to because you've had some exposure to 
some classes related to it. So for example, I've seen civil engineers, mechanical engineers, chemical engineers, I've seen math majors, chemistry majors, biology majors. They've had that background. They've had some exposure to science at least. So they have a much more easier time to transition to environmental engineering because they had like some science or some knowledge of like the environment that they can actually make the switch. So that means they don't have to take too much time to prepare for classes. Maybe they have like that background knowledge. Maybe it's much more easier for them to like get an A in that class just because they've had exposure to that field already. So for that scenario, no, it's not too late. They can definitely switch on over. And personally, I went from a chemistry major, my bachelor's, to environmental engineering for my master's. So you can see that it's possible. I made the switch. And that was truly what I wanted to do. I didn't want to be stuck in a lab all day, eight hours a day, five days a week, doing whatever, working for some big pharmaceutical company and doing that. That wasn't what I enjoyed. So I switched on over and it's definitely possible. Next, and I know this might be contradicting to what I previously said when I said it was too late. It's if you're willing to learn. And this could be no matter what age. I typically want to say that if you're young and willing to learn and ambitious, then yeah, it's much more easier. But if you're old and willing to learn, people can still do it. I've seen people my parents' age still go back to college. You know, they're like 50, 60 years old. They still went to my organic chemistry class. That was when I was the second year. And they're probably, I don't know how old they are, but they still went back. And I've seen people from, you know, different majors too. They graduated college with a, let's say, a history degree. They're 22 years old. They worked whatever. They didn't enjoy their work, so they sucked it up at their work for like four years. Now they're coming out at like 26, 28 years old. They realize, you know, I don't really like what I'm doing anymore. But I do like this new route because maybe I've had some customers dealing with this. And then all of a sudden, it sparked my interest. So then they may be going back to school. Or maybe they get like a post back, Or maybe they just get some certification and they go back into the field. Geared towards like environmental related studies. And there's nothing wrong with that. You can definitely do whatever you want. You can definitely keep learning no matter what your age is. My only caveat to that is that it'll be sort of difficult depending on your age because I know there is like age discrimination. Just because some companies don't really want to hire someone who's too old and then they might have to like retrain someone to give a let go when they retire. But that itself is a whole different topic. And lastly, it is not too late and I sort of want to bring out the big elephant in the room. It is not too late even if you are a foreign student or if you're coming in from a foreign country. So I know, hopefully this isn't racist or anything, but I know there's a lot of Indian people or like Chinese people who are coming in from different countries here in the United States to get their degree. I know this because I've had a lot of foreign exchange students in my class at my university during grad school who did this. More than half of my class were from different countries. So it's not too late to do this. So some of my classmates, they're over 30 years old or maybe they're married, they had kids, they already worked like eight plus years in some other field, or maybe they've had eight plus years in some environmental services field, but then they just wanted to get their masters. I've seen where they're coming from, and it's definitely not too late for them to even do this. I think honestly, I was the youngest student there in my class. So seeing that big age gap, no matter what, it still was possible. And especially since they came from a different country, just seeing that struggle of going from a foreign country, learning English, coming to my class, it's definitely possible. They started environmental engineering at their later stage in their life and it's still possible because we still graduated at the same time. So after watching this video, I hope that I answered some questions here. This should give you some insight and some hope as to whether or not you should still pursue this career. Now it makes me realize that even though I said it depends on your situation, there is still hope. And for the most part, I am leaning towards, yes, you can still do this no matter what, but it really does depend on your situation and whether or not you really want to keep doing this. Hopefully you guys enjoy segments like these and again I'm just answering some questions that I wish I knew when I came into this career. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. If you have any personal questions or any other general topic or general questions like these, just let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one.